Hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're gonna learn how to make a math tester. And if we do explain a little bit too much, I'll, I'll separate this into two parts. So I'm gonna open it up in the simulator. And if we see, we have a time limit and a score. I'm just gonna calculate that. I guess that's 880. <laughs> And am I correct? Yes, I am. And then that happens to be so perfect. 780. And then we have 463 and 25,928. So basically, once your score gets to 30, you get, you win. And actually, let's let's open it up in Xcode. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some code and we're also gonna add some other stuff, which I wanna add. So, the first thing I wanna do is change this to, change the time to, let's say, 2.40, or not nah, too long. Let's do 120, uh, oh, let's just go with 75 seconds, which is a little bit more than a minute. And then we go back to here, let's say 75, 75. Basically, if we ever find a 30, yeah, that's the only 30. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to I'm gonna show you them I'm gonna show you what's actually behind all of this. These are all the outlets. The question, the answer field, which you type in the answer, the submit button, which you press, and we're only creating this because we need we need to hide and show this button, but we, we don't if we're gonna just make a crappy app. We're just gonna use. We don't have even have to create an outlet. So basically, then we have the right or wrong, which is a label. So right or wrong basically shows all the text like you win, times up, you incorrect, correct, all that kind of text. So. And then the next thing, which we have right here, is next problem. It's a button. Again, we won't really need this if we're going to make a crappy app. But I'm just using it for the purposes of making the app better. In case, like, you win the game, then then it's going to show that and or hide that. And then we have the score, which is a UI label. And that's just going to display the score. Time label is just going to display the time you have left. Then we have a few variables. Time left is the time. Score math is, I named it score math because uh, I already have the score for the UI label. And then I, this is the answer, the number, the, the two numbers that we're doing operations to, the sign, the sign number, which is, we use for a switch statement. And then we have a timer for the amount of time you have left. And then in view did load, it's basically the same thing that we have here in next problem. So we're basically doing, we're hiding all the stuff that we need to hide. And then we set the random numbers. I think, I think to 50 would be good. Cause when we are doing the multiplication is pain, just painful. And that should be three. I don't know why it's two. And then it sets the question text to the number, then the sign, then the other number, and then an equal sign. And then it's asking you for the answer. Then it sets it it shows the question. And then it set it sets the answer field to a blank and it starts the timer right here. And iOS 10 is a great update because it removes all the need for NS. You could put that, but if you see they added timer instead of NS, but that's outdated. They don't have it anymore in Swift 3. 
and then submit, which is hiding the question, the answer field, and the submit button. And it, it'll judge if your answer is correct or incorrect. And then this is also a place where if you press submit and the, your, your score just got to 30, it hides everything and then it shows the right or wrong that says you win. And then it, it stops the timer when you press submit and then it sets it back to the normal time left. The next problem, again, same as you did load. And then we have the switch, every time the timer ticks, one second, this is the function that it runs. It checks, it, it sets the time to one less, then it updates the label, and then, and then here it's just checking every single time if time left is zero. And time left will only be zero if you run out of time. So basically, this is a, it stops the timer, it hides the, everything except for the right or wrong, and the next problem and it says time's up and then you lose a point same with incorrect you lose a point too and again the goal is to get to 30 that's actually kind of hard if you're gonna get like all the multiplication it's gonna be hard 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 okay <laughs> now I have to show you the view, view controller doesn't look that complicated I guess but you have to have, see here, score, time. Kind of like if my app, Wacka Zombie, on the App Store, it has a score, the, the time, and yes, I have to change that to 75. And if we hear, we see the enter answer here. The submit button, the label, the next problem, so on. And actually, this is some work. This is this is just a part one of our videos. Now let's move on to part two, which is I'm gonna I want to add something that that I haven't added yet with you guys.